Hello guys, what is up? Back Pro Jack here, back for day 5 of Mod Mayhem, where I'll be uploading a new mod showcase every single day for the next week to celebrate hitting 40,000 subscribers. I hope you- doors we should just make them automatically open maybe that's probably a mod i don't even know but anyway let's go check in here we have franklin we have pat who's always in franklin's spider webs god dang it franklin look what you did and today we have the plants versus zombies mod oh this is gonna be great so let's look in here we have uh, a weird pylon uh, we also have a wearable bucket high vis jacket uh football leggings and also football boots and let's see franklin's question of the day let's read that real quick guys uh what is your favorite game on your computer that is a question from gersimar sorry if i butchered your name dude uh but yeah gersimar wants to know what is your favorite game on your pc or mac whatever you have or linux for all you people out there that have linux um <laughs> But yeah, personally, my favorite game is either, I don't know, Minecraft, possibly. I, I like playing some, like, custom maps on Minecraft. I always find that kind of fun, like, uh, survival games and all that. But, um, another cool game that I found recently was Guild Wars. It's, uh, like, an MMO, kind of like World of Warcraft, but you don't have to pay a monthly fee. And I just thought that was kind of neat. Um, if any of you guys play that, maybe you guys could hop on with me one day. I don't know. But yeah, uh, anyway, that is just my favorite game on my PC. So yeah, just make sure to go post what your favorite game is on your computer down in the comment section down below. And also, guys, it'll be really awesome if we can hit 200 likes. We've been hitting 200 likes on every single day of Mod Mayhem. So let's keep that up. All right. But anyway, it looks like uh, we have some farming supplies right here that Franklin set up for us. So um, I guess we can also just put on our armor. I forgot to do that that guys all right yeah this is just a this is so weird we have a bucket on our head we have football leggings football boots and a high vis jacket i don't even know what the heck that is we also have a pylon because i mean why not all right so farming supplies let's just get that out we have a diamond hoe some pea plant seeds a shroom plant seeds and also some bone meal so i guess we could speed up the process all right so let's just try right here We'll have two, we'll plant the peace plant seeds and the shroom plant seeds. Now you can actually obtain these by just going around and breaking uh, grass around your home. And then this will give you randomly some pea plant seeds and some shroom plant seeds. And you just have to plant them like normal. And then I'm just gonna give them some bone meal to just speed up the process. They look kind of like wheat and I believe that, yep, they're both done. And then you break them. Oh, I did it in creative, wow. Am I stupid or what? Okay, let's go into survival mode. And when you break them, they will give you their respectable items. So the pea plant will give you something called a pea plot. Pea pod, not pea plod. And uh, we'll also give you some more pea plant seeds. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys what you can do with this a little bit later. And then we also have our shroom plant, which will give us our shroom pod and also some more seeds to go along with that. So this one's just a little bit tinier. They kind of both look the same though. So you can use these in crafting uh, the different shooters that actually are in this game, the different plants that can actually shoot the zombies. So yeah, uh, but first, before we get into that, you're going to need to know how to craft yourself an empty seed packet. Now this is just paper around seeds, and then you're going to combine that with the pea pod to get the pea shooter seed packet. As you can see, just like this, and this is the, just the basic pea shooter. And this is kind of how you do it for everything. Um, pretty much, it's just going to be an empty seed packet, and it's going to be its respectable items that it needs to compare with. But all the recipes are actually on the website, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys, because there are like tons of recipes. There's like 20 plus recipes, and when there's more than 20 recipes, you guys know that I just kind of leave it up to you. And because, I mean, it's kind of boring i just want to review the mod but yeah we also have the mushroom seed packets which is just a mushroom combined with the empty seed packet and then uh this is just the basic shroom plant and then this is just the shroom pod combined with the empty mushroom seed packet so yeah that's just the basic plants that i just wanted to get out of the way before i go into showcasing all of the rest of them so now that we got that out of the way, let's go into our first round of plants. Let's go check this out. So I guess we can just get rid of our farming supplies. Don't really need them anymore. Um, don't really, I mean, I guess we could just leave it like that because uh, to actually plant these things down, you're not going to need to plant them on farmland. I don't even think that you can plant them on hoed land. They actually need to be on regular land like this. So uh, what I'm gonna do real fast is I'm just gonna get rid of my trowel. We'll get you, I'll show you guys what that does in a little bit. And I'm just gonna get rid of that and that, bam, okay. 
So now we can go on to our different plants. So here we have the basic one, the sunflower. Now actually, uh, the sun that this thing produces, if you know the games like I do pretty well, um, the sun that it produces doesn't really do much in this game. Um, in the other game, you could like buy upgrades and buy uh, some other things. But yeah, in this one, as you can see, it'll just plop out some sun every once in a while. And the only functionality at the moment that this has is to actually create this thing called a trowel, which is just three iron ingots, sun, and a stick and this just allows you to literally pick up a plant if you don't want it in that respectable spot anymore and then you can just place it back down wherever the heck you would like it to so yeah that's just the basic sunflower and now we have the pea shooter now this is just the basic shooter of the, all the plants and this does approximately i believe four damage it just fires one pea every few seconds and um towards the end of the video i will be showing you guys how these things fight against zombies so uh, if you guys are waiting for that just uh maybe if you want to skip to the end of the video but i'm just gonna explain what each of these different uh plants do so yeah that's just a regular pea shooter and then the repeater is actually just this times two so it will fire uh, double the amount of peas out of this one in the same amount of time and then next up we have the snow pea now this one is really neat uh from the games this one actually freezes the zombies and it does the same thing in here i believe it gives it slowness uh for, for like a couple seconds i believe it's like 20 seconds so yeah it kind of like gives it the equivalent of making it frozen so yeah, next up we have the spike weed seed packets. Now I'm gonna just kind of lay these down in front because when zombies walk on top of them, they will actually get damaged. So that's kind of neat. And I just thought these things have like cute little textures with the little red eyes and it kind of looks like they have like an eyebrow almost. And then the little spikes on top. It just, everything looked kind of cool in Minecraft, you know, how they made the plants and everything. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna lay these down across the rest of it because we are gonna fight some zombies later. But yeah, anyway, we have the, I believe this is the, three peter seed packet okay so we got the three peter right there this one is basically the pea shooter times three so it will shoot three different peas in the same amount of time as you can see it has one two three heads so i mean it's kind of pretty basic you kind of probably could have guessed that already and then next up we have the like the dual sunflower and i thought it was kind of neat how like their heads connect up there i don't even know if he meant to do that or not the mod creator but yeah this is just the sunflower on steroids as you can see it's times two and it'll produce double the amount of sun in the same amount of time as you can see look produce two sun right there and then the last one in this little lineup that i have is the iceberg lettuce now we're going to lay them in front because whenever a zombie runs into them it, they will actually freeze so we could just place these ones in front just as like an extra line of defense up here and i actually can't place on glowstone i guess that'll be our weak spot so yeah as you can see these bad boys they will freeze the zombies on contact so yeah that is just the first round we also do have two more whole things of plants uh these are still the daytime plants and then we'll get to the nighttime plants so these are the walnut seed packets now these obviously just protect the uh plants from getting attacked by zombies but um the functionality i don't think really works that well at the moment uh, i tried this out a little bit earlier but the zombies would literally just walk right through them so i'm not entirely sure what their whole purpose is at the moment but um in the actual plants for the zombies game these zombies aren't able to walk through these things unless they eat them all and they have a whopping 60 health compared to the rest of the plants which only have four so yeah next up we also have the potato mine i'm actually kind of afraid to put this down because it will blow up the area so i think i'll just put one lone one right there now this one will actually needs time to prime so when you do place it down it will just kind of look like this tiny red thing but eventually over time it will pop up out of the ground if this does work right and then when a mob walks over it it will explode on them so yeah that's kind of neat and we also have something called a marigold now i'm gonna put these in the back right here because these things are really special they're almost well they're probably actually better than the sunflowers because these things will produce gold ingots over time which is really awesome as you can see so this is a really easy gold farm because nine gold ingots equals i mean nine gold nuggets equals one gold ingot so yeah you can eventually just get a whole bunch of gold even though gold doesn't really have a purpose in this game but yeah i mean that's just a uh, functionality of the marigolds so next up we have the peanut now this uh all the description says is offensive and defensive i'm not entirely sure what it is um i i don't really recall this in the games i mean uh, i haven't really played the games in a while so i could have just forgotten about this one but i really don't know about this guy i'm actually oh he has a lot of health Jeez, i was actually gonna try and like plop him down right here and, and then i can just pick him up like that and i actually just want to put him down real quick 
plop him down right there and we'll just see how he does he does have as much health as a walnut but uh it looks like he will probably shoot actually so that's kind of neat so yeah that is all of the daytime plants as you can see right there and now we're going to move into the plants that only work at night so to do this i'm actually going to turn it to nighttime let's see we have the puff shroom now these things are just the basic shrooms out of all the different mushrooms and as you can see this guy eventually popped up so yeah this guy's just the basic one kind of like the pea shooter but this is the basic one at nighttime and here we have a scaredy shroom now this guy will go down underground if anything gets close to him so if any zombies get close to him he will go underground but uh he's also good for like sniping far range zombies which is pretty dang cool this one is kind of like the root of all the different shrooms this guy will let out like a spray of ooze and acid on the zombies so that's kind of neat so here we have this sun bean uh it says sun spurts from a zombie on contact so i don't know if, if uh, i guess maybe when a zombie runs into this guy sun will just like spray everywhere even though sun really doesn't have that great of a purpose so yeah that's the plants and we only have three more to go we have the sun shroom which uh, pretty much is the same thing as the sunflower, except it'll produce sun at night. And then we also have the hypno shroom. Now this one's actually probably my favorite out of all of them, because when a zombie runs into it, it will make it brainwashed, and then the zombie will start fighting other zombies. So that's kind of neat. And then lastly, but not least, we have the magnet shroom, which will take away uh, the helmets on zombies on contact. So I guess we could just lay a line of them right there to try and get the helmets off of the bucket head zombies. So yeah, we have a whole crap ton of different mobs right here. Uh, just so many different plants. It is just crazy. And now we have to move on to the two whole entire pages of zombies. So I'm going to show you guys them one at a time. And then maybe we'll do like a final battle at the end. So yeah, this is the flag zombie. Now... There's kind of a little glitch with this thing, is that when I spawn this guy down, he actually won't go over uh, and try and attack the sunflowers for some reason, but these guys will attack him nonetheless. But um, just in like the real games, they're trying to, you know, get into the house, get and uh, kill all the sunflowers. So I'm not entirely sure if that's just a mess up with the AI of these zombies or it'll be updated eventually. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, go into survival mode and see if these zombies will chase after me. So come here, zombie. This is the flag zombie. He's just like the basic one that comes in at the beginning of each battle. And I forgot to say, guys, that these zombies actually spawn in naturally all over your world. So yeah, be ready to fight some pretty hard zombies and like there's so many different ones. There's like like two whole pages full of them so next up we have the bucket head zombie this guy just has a little bit more armor on him as you can see with the bucket head and it looks like he's actually trying to go for them so yeah i guess did you lose interest bud but yeah he just has a little bit more armor but he does have the same health as a regular old zombie so yeah they're just wrecking today jeez all right now we have the football zombie plop him down and i believe that he runs a tad bit faster but it's kind of hard to tell maybe that'll be in like a future update but yeah he just has a little bit more armor than the bucket head zombie but they're kind of like the same in my opinion you know he just has a bunch of armor and he will actually survive during the day him and the bucket head zombie so you got to be careful about that because most of these zombies actually do have helmets on which allows them not to get burnt by daylight so here we have the engineer Let's just see what he can do. Uh, in the game, he can actually go underground. I'm not entirely sure if uh, he has that functionality in this little mod. It kind of looks like he doesn't, which kind of stinks. But uh, yeah, that's just the basic engineer. He kind of look cool with all of his outfit on and like the pickaxe. And uh, let's see, we have the explorer zombie. Now, this guy just has like a torch in his hand and he has some leather armor on. So yeah, a lot of these zombies are kind of the same except they just have like, different outfits on, which kind of is a little bit stupid in my opinion. I just think that if you're going to make different types of zombies, then they probably should have some different abilities in my opinion. But um, I'm definitely sure that the mod maker is thinking about adding some brand new stuff into the game. It looks like we just have a regular zombie trying to join the battle good luck with that so here we have the newspaper zombie oh gosh yep yep this one's good this one has special abilities Jeez, kill him kill him guys kill him Jeez. oh god oh my gosh what the heck he just ran through all that okay good good okay he got hypnotized as you can see by the uh by the hypno shroom and actually they still try and kill him which kind of stinks so yeah they're just trying to shoot at him it looks like they're also hitting that skeleton too so i might have to put this guy down uh, but let me just show you guys that he will actually go after other zombies so yeah let's see well will you guys just start killing each other uh, I guess you guys won't be able to see, but he would actually go over and kill this flag zombie. Uh, if this flag zombie... W oh, jeez. Uh, okay, yeah. A lot of things just started glitching out there, but I'm just trying to kill this guy so they actually stop shooting. And I also see those two zombies. Jeez, everything is 
going to hell right now. Okay, I'm just gonna get back here. All right, let's see. Oh, I still got 35 gold nuggets from these marigolds. That's awesome. All right, so let's say I'm gonna heal myself up. And next up, we have a little imp, which I don't know if you guys remember from the games. Uh, this is just a baby zombie that is on the back of the gargantuar. So let's just kill him real quick, guys. Come on. There we go. All right, next up, we have... This is probably my favorite zombie, the Gargantua. Uh, he doesn't really look that good in this game, but uh, in Plants vs. Zombies, he is crazy big. Th I mean, this guy is still pretty dang big, and he has tons of health. And look how much attack damage he does. Come here. Hit me. Hit me. He, he'll take out, like, half my hearts if he actually wanted to hit me, but it looks like he's kind of focused on the plant. So, yeah, he does, like, five hearts of damage per hit. So, yeah, within two hits, you're pretty much dead. So you gotta be careful about that. This guy is just like kind of like the boss of all the zombies. And he actually spawns in across your world. Like I've actually seen him a few different times just like looking for randomly spawning zombies. So yeah, be ready for that. Jeez. Alright, so let's see. We also have a second page of zombies. Now there was uh, something called like like uh, nightly zombies or something like that. Where there's just a whole bunch of different types of zombies. Like a night zombie, a, a peasant bucket head zombie so i'm not entirely sure what these are from but yeah these aren't from like the regular games i don't think i never played plants vs zombies too so they could be from there but anyway let's spawn in the regular peasant zombie oh god this guy looks kind of neat so looks like they just have a different uh outfit than everyone else so yeah it looks like uh he doesn't really even have that much health left yeah they just killed him jeez oh my can i just take out this gargantuar but yeah on death he will drop that thing i don't know if you guys saw i had it at the beginning of the video and it does a uh, seven attack damage down these zombies just really love to glitch out don't they jeez that's a little bit annoying all right but anyway we have the peasant flag zombie so it looks like okay wow this flag actually looks kind of neat i don't know if you guys can also see is that he also has a slowness effect on him and that is from this guy right there all right, let's see. Let's we have a buckethead zombie. I want to actually see if I can spawn him right here, and see if he will walk on these, uh, the spike weeds. So let's see, buckethead zombie. Come on. Oh god, he just gets wrecked right there. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what if I spawn a night zombie there? Come on. Okay, yeah. He actually doesn't look like he's taking any knockback, and it looks like yeah, that's just like one to two damage over time. But yeah, he just got wrecked as well. We also have an imp monk. What the heck is this thing? What? <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be so small because I didn't really see the word imp until after I spawned it. Jeez. I was expecting like like a monk type guy, but it was just a tiny like little dwarf monk. All right. But anyway, it looks like we have a dragon imp. Jeez. Oh, God. This guy's outfit's super cool. Look at that. It looks like a little mutant dragon. Look, he has like the eyes and everything. That's so cool. And it looks like lastly, we have a wizard zombie. Does he have any special abilities? No, yeah, they haven't really been added yet, but eventually I guess maybe he could shoot fireballs or something. That's just some suggestions that I have. And it looks like we were able to kill all the zombies. Now, I just want to do a, like a final little battle with all these zombies, and then we'll wrap up this match. Okay, so let's just spawn in every single one of these zombies. Bam. Get all the zombies in here. I'll only do the ones from the first game that I actually know and love. So yeah, let's just go back here and watch the battle as it progresses. Oh god, he's actually getting through there. So yeah, as you can see, the, like, the walnuts and stuff don't really do much. It looks like they actually did take out some uh, plants. It looks like if they walk on them, they will actually take them out. So it looks like that, the football guy just kind of stuck over there. And the gargantua is just kind of trapped in this corner. So yeah. That pretty much wraps it up, guys. This has been the Plants vs. Zombies mod. <laughs> the newspaper guy, he's just over here like, what the hell's going on? But yeah, guys, anyway, that has been the Plants vs. Zombies mod. I really hope you did enjoy. Uh, the, remember, guys, this is a work-in-progress mod. It's early in beta for 1.7, so it was literally, like, just updated very recently. So uh, that's why some of the things weren't working correctly, and that's why some features weren't implemented yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure that this mod will eventually become a really amazing mod with some more updates and stuff. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave your opinion about it in the comment section down below and also make sure to go pound the like button and answer franklin's question of the day but anyway guys that really wraps it up my name is Beckbro jack there's zombies everywhere and i will see you guys all next time bye